They came from throughout the north, converging from several points on the city centre. The intent was simple, to give a firm thumbs down to the Hillsborough Agreement. The crowd spilled out around the City Hall and back down the main shopping street, Royal Avenue. Unionist leaders James Molyneux and Ian Paisley emphasised that they were united in common cause against what they called this evil device. First, Mr Molyneux had a message for Northern Secretary Tom King. Mr King has alleged that we no longer represent your views. He has alleged that in your hearts you really like the Anglo-Irish agreement. Well, do you? Next, it was Ian Paisley's turn. I want to ask a question today. And the question is simple. Where do the ter terrorists operate from? From the Irish Republic. That's where they come from. Return to for sanctuary to the Irish Republic. And yet Mrs. Thatcher tells us that that Republic must have some say in our province. We say never! Never! Both leaders then signed a pledge to resign their seats to force by-elections on the issue in the new year. All the Unionist Westminster MPs followed suit with the exception of Enoch Paul, who wasn't there. The crowd left no doubt about its feelings, burning first an effigy of Mrs Thatcher and then the tricolour. Throughout the proceedings, both leaders emphasised the need for their protest to be dignified, and Mr Molyneux said that violence would serve their cause no good.